Hi, my name is Robert Feranek. I'm from Fedevel Academy. And in this video, uh, we are going to have a look at uh, some parameters of PCB which uh, influence the uh, price of the PCB. And I'm creating this video because uh, I noticed that uh, many people, they uh, don't realize uh, how, uh, how big difference there can be if uh, they, for example, choose uh, wrong uh, minimum hole size, which is used on their PCB. How much more expensive uh, PCB they may have or how much they can save, how much cheaper uh, PCB they can create if they use, for example, a little bit bigger vias. Yeah? So let's have a look uh, at some uh, numbers in an online calculator and let's have a look how much difference uh, you can get if you, for example, use a little bit smaller uh, trucks or if you use a little bit bigger vias or bigger holes on your PCB. Have a look uh, what are the um, numbers which you may want to use for your standard PCBs. For this video, I'm going to use a PCB way. Uh, I need to say they don't pay me anything uh, for advertisement or something. I just know this company because uh, I occasionally talk to them. They are supporting uh, our students or basically our students. They can manufacture PCBs uh, through PCB way. But uh, you can very simply just go and uh, you can Google for different kind of PCB manufacturers. Just write cheap PCB. Okay, and you can use different online calculators. I used this uh, PCB manufacturer before. Uh, I manufactured some PCBs here and uh, I was very happy. They delivered and everything worked, so it was perfect. Uh, for uh, this video, we are going to um, calculate with some very basic and very simple PCB, let's say, uh, 100 by 100 millimeter, five pieces, uh, two layer PCB, quote now. And we are going to have a look at these numbers and at the price of the PCB. How changing these numbers and how changing, changing these values is going to influence the price of the PCB. Everybody knows that uh, when we increase the number of layers, the uh, price or the cost of the PCB will go high. So uh, let's have a look how much more expensive four layer PCB is. So at this moment, $5. If we go for four layers, $49. It looks like it is much more expensive, uh, but four layer uh, PCBs are much better, okay, comparing to two layers, especially for. Uh, EMC for like real products, you may want to use four layers. Also for uh, uh, controlled impedance, you need at least four layers. And have a look how much six layer is going to cost. This is much, much more expensive. So four layer is still quite good deal. Yeah, it's not so expensive, but it's much better than two layer PCB. Uh, we are going to leave this as it is. Uh, I don't really usually play with these uh, different materials. I just leave what is default. I'm, I'm going back to two layer PCB. Oh, this is much more expensive, much more expensive. This is the cheapest one. Uh, but the numbers what are uh, really interesting and what many people don't realize how they influence the price are these numbers which are here. So minimum track width, minimum spacing and minimum hole size. If you have a lot of space on your PCB, don't use smaller holes than 0.3 millimeter. These are really cheap. If you go for 0.2 millimeter vias, have a look how the price is going to change, okay? Suddenly $64 just because we use smaller vias. Use 0.3 millimeter vias. Same for minimum track width and minimum spacing. If you just use two thin tracks 
And if it's not necessary, instead of $5, you are going to pay $64. Or here, this is $41. So use this, okay? For $88, $5. Use this. It is uh, 6 mil, 2 millimeters. That's 0 0.15 millimeter, okay? So don't go below 0 0.15 millimeter tra track bit and 0 0.15 millimeter minimum clearance. Color of your PCB is not really going to influence the price, uh, especially if you use uh, standard colors like red PCB, it is still $5, blue PCB, $5. Uh, seal screen, uh, standard seal screen is uh, white, but if you use something else, uh, you can uh, maybe pay a little bit more. Yes, $39. Gold fingers, uh, usually you don't uh, use this on uh, your PCB. These are uh, usually needed only if your PCB is plugged in somewhere. You know, like uh, if you have a PCI card or PCI Express card, then you need gold fingers. Or if you are doing uh, a flex cable, then you may need uh, gold fingers. But on normal PCB, you don't need uh, gold fingers. You know, just to be sure everybody knows what gold fingers are these, okay? Uh, surface finish, this is going to influence the uh, price of your PCB or cost of PCB. This is the cheapest one, but uh, PCBs with lead should not be used in some countries, like in Europe. So uh, for products in Europe, you definitely don't want to use this. You need to use lead-free PCBs. Uh, this is going to be more expensive, $19. Uh, let, uh, this uh, Hustle, uh, it's the kind of PCB which has like uh, tin on the surface, okay? So this one is uh, with the hustle, this one is with gold. Okay, if you go here, uh, you can also choose uh, gold. So this kind of PCB is with gold. Or uh, sometimes they call these uh, gold PCBs, uh, you can find it, they call it like uh, ENIC, like this, okay? Again, if you see this ops ENIC PCB, it means it is this kind of gold PCB. Uh, VIA process, uh, usually I tent the VIAs. It means there will be solder mask over the VIAs. Uh, I don't really use plugged VIAs. This is going to increase the uh, price of your PCB. I'm going back here. So it's $5 plugged VIAs much more expensive PCB. If you plug the VIAs in PCB, you will fill them, okay? Uh, you, you will fill them with something. Inside of the PCB, you will uh, put some uh, uh, different materials, okay? Uh, you don't have to use it. Uh, and uh, finished copper, this is the thickness of the copper. The one of that is standard thickness of copper. For signal layers, you can use even uh, something smaller, like half of that. For uh, high power application, where uh, high currents are going to flow, you may want to use uh, something thicker, like two of that copper. But again, this is going to increase the price uh, of the PCB. Have a look. So $5 when I use little bit thicker copper is going to cost $41. Some people may be wondering uh, what does it mean uh, one OZ? You can Google, okay? One OZ PCB. Uh, click here what is OZ in PCB. 1OZ copper has thickness of 1.4 mils. Okay, I can select this. 
Google for 1.4 mils to millimeters. It is uh, around 35, 36 micrometers. Okay, so one OZ here, it means the thickness of the copper is 1.4 mils or uh, 35 micrometers. And uh, that's everything for today's video. Uh, if you like, leave comments, okay? I'm really interested uh, to see what is your experience with different uh, values uh, for the PCBs, how these uh, values influence the price of your PCBs, what you realized, what you need to improve or what you should use next time. Uh, I really hope you found this video useful and if you like it, don't forget to press like button and uh, see you next time. Bye.